Hello, I'm Brent. I possess the Canadian amateur radio call sign Victor Echo 9 Echo X-Ray. I've had amateur radio privileges since 2010. The Fredericton Amateur Radio Club is collecting five minute videos about our shacks. Here is my amateur radio shack in 2020. I will talk about grounding, antennas, the equipment in the shack, what I use for satellite communication, and QSL cards. In the book by Weeks, he talks about how one ground rod, five feet long, half inch diameter, in typical earth with a conductivity of 0 0.01 moles per meter, has a resistance to ground of 60 ohms, a discouragingly high number, he wrote. He suggested a solution is multiple grounds arranged in a circle connected by wires. I use three ground rods and estimate less than 20 ohms to ground. In the basement, in the sump pump pit, there is a six foot ground rod pounded in there. We'll leave the basement. Go upstairs past the firewood. We're going to stop in the corner of the garage, behind the corner, is my shack. That conduit you see on the wall took me a whole summer to put in. The cables go into conduit in the ceiling. Over here would be the 10 foot ground rod. It was pounded in before the driveway got paved. Six gauge wire goes in here and then winds around and goes into the shack. The next is to go over to the house ground around the corner, here. From here you can see where the transmission lines leave the conduit at the top of the garage and go into the forest where there's a lightning arrester. The G5RV is fed with 150 feet of coax. The verticals are fed with 300 feet. I'll walk over to the G5 RV over here. Pardon me. Crows don't like what I'm doing. You can't see the G5 RV, it's just a wire, but you can see the space in the forest and a bit of the transmission line. To get to the 20 meter vertical, I have to walk in the forest in that direction and walk in the forest that way to get to the 40. The 20 meter vertical is here. The 40 meter vertical is here. The centerpiece was made by my father, Neil, VE3DHE. Finally going into the shack. On the wall I have four awards and my license. All grounds go to a copper pipe in the black box with the switches. I connect in the sump pump and driveway grounds there. That's a 240 volt 30 amp plug for the amplifier. I use both a linear power supply and a switching power supply. The control head for the ICOM 7000 is disconnected from the radio. I have a signal link USB and the antenna tuner I use for the G5RV. My radio is on remote hams from September to April mostly. And that's the amplifier, not on remote hams. In August I had a satellite QSO with Dave Victor Oscar 1 Alpha Uniform when he was in Newfoundland and that's the image from PEI just moments after. I have two favorite QSL cards. Sable Island 160 meter CW on my G5 RV which is not meant for 160. The operator was Gary VE1 RGB, sadly a silent key in 2017. The QSL was in October 2013. The second card is the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station. I heard them on the air three times over a year and a half before I finally got the QSO. Thank you for watching.